Let's talk a little Mountain East football. And for that, we'll go to the phones where we're joined by the head coach of the Shepherd Rams, Monty Cater. Coach, thanks for joining us this evening. Well, it's my pleasure. Appreciate being on. Great to have you again and, and catch up on this game. So big playoff game coming up Saturday at noon against IUP. Go ahead and set this game up from, from your perspective. What are you telling your guys this week? Well, we, we did have the extra week. Uh, got the bye week as the, the number one seed in the uh, – you know, in the region, but, you know, it's going to be a great challenge. I mean, we saw Charleston have a, a great first half and, and really played pretty well into the ball game. but these guys, they score in bunches and they come at you a lot of different ways, very mobile, very athletic and fast quarterbacks. So you know, that's nothing new. You see a lot of that these days in, in the different offenses in the mountain East, but they are very, they're, they're huge. Number one, and got one of the best return guys in the country. And their defense is also very, very good. They got some transfers and stuff like that. Some guys that have played at a higher level, but it's uh, it's going to be certainly the the biggest challenge that we've had. I mean, we had some some real tough games, especially with Concord and with Charleston. Uh, but I, you know, this is going to be this going to be a team that's two points from having a perfect season. And those two one point losses, you know, they still were able to get in the playoffs, and they're you know showing why they should be. Is it fair to say one of the keys to this game is is almost, if you will, strength on strength, your ability to stop the run, IUP's ability to rush the football? Does it start with that? I think it does, and I think that's where our defense likes to go ahead and, and plan for each team that we're playing. If you can try and make them one-dimensional, if teams can go ahead and have equal success running and passing, we're going to have a long day. But, you know, we try to go ahead and try to take that run away or at least limit that so that they do have to throw. Then you got a chance to go ahead and throw a curveball or two in there and, you know, change your coverage and your pressure. But it's, you know, like I say, they, they the, the mobility of the quarterback is what changes a lot of those offenses. And you know, everybody's running a little bit of that read option these days, and, and we do a little bit of that ourselves. But he uh, he is really good, and they like to go ahead and stretch you vertically a little bit, lull you to sleep with that. And you know, it's not like they can't throw it anyway, but you get real conscious of you know trying to stop that option, and then you go ahead and leave somebody open running down the seam. Shepherd head football coach Monty Cater is our guest. Yeah, Monty, you mentioned that you had the week off while IUP played. Certainly, resting up helps, but obviously there there are disadvantages too, especially when you're a throwing team and and you like to keep the rhythm of that pass game going. Did did you like not playing in getting the time off, or would you rather just kept the ball rolling? Well, you make a good point. I think what we had hoped was that we'd get the extra week because we had four starters that didn't play in the last game against Urbana and we thought we would have a chance to get those guys back plus some other guys that were hobbled a little bit uh you know that was affecting how hard they could go or how close they were to 100 percent that hasn't worked out as good as we thought uh, we're still not going to have a couple guys back and a couple are still questionable even after that long period of time so i, I think we've kept the, the timing part of it i mean we've been able to have some pretty good weather and and we've been able to go ahead and continue to work and practice and do the things you normally do. But uh, I, I, we had just hoped that we were going to get a couple guys back. And you know, one of them is their inside linebacker, James Gupton. And he's just a fierce player and a first-team all-conference guy. And the respect he has in our league, for example, I mean, he missed the last two games uh, that, that we played and still was in a position to go ahead and, and get that honor by the other coaches. So, you know, that that's a big loss. But the only thing we can say is that the guys that have had to play in front of the guys that have been injured, you know, have gotten some playing time. So it's not like you're going to put somebody in there that hasn't had a chance to go to war yet. Shepherd head football coach Monty Cater is our guest. Yeah, Monty, the pass, I mean, I'm sorry, the running attack of, of IUP, 300, 307 yards per game. Have you faced anybody that is this run dominant so far this year? No, we really haven't. Uh, I think we've seen some teams that, that very well could be considered balanced. Uh, you know, Charleston's a great example of that. I think Concord's a great example of that. Others are probably a little bit more dominant with the run or the pass. But, you know, again, it's the, you know, when you can do both, that's what really challenges you. But this, this is easily going to be the best running team that we've seen. And, you know, our work's going to be cut out for us, but that's what we try to work on the most and what we try to take away first. And, you know, that'll be that'll be one of the challenges that we have. We've gone far too long in this interview without mentioning your great quarterback, Mountain East Offensive Player of the Year, Jeff Ziemba. Just a fantastic year, 26 touchdowns, two picks. Tell us about his play so far this year. 
I tell you, he's uh, and he's what's made a lot of the offense go. We, we have a very young and experienced offensive line. You say, well, they're a little bit more experienced now that they've got ten games under their belt. But there's three redshirt freshmen that play a lot in that group. Uh, I think the thing that says an awful lot about Jeff is he has enforced things. He's got great pocket presence, can move around. He keeps the play alive uh, a long time and is able to go ahead and find somebody that's been open. Now, we've got some good people for him to throw to. But the challenge for us, again, this week is going to be, you know, he's got to be standing up at the end of the play and got to have some time to go ahead and throw it. And he just he just doesn't make mistakes. You know, he's thrown four picks in two years, and two of those four have been deflected balls. So he uh, he's just done a great job of making good decisions. But, you know, Joel Gordon was a great quarterback here, and that's his coach, and he's done a great job with Jeff. Could you, is is Billy Brown the biggest key to this passing attack after the quarterback, or or you guys will spread the ball around a little bit? But certainly Brown is the guy that has gotten a, a bulk of those catches. You're exactly right, and he's a big target in you know, a six four, about two thirty, and he's got some of the best hands of anybody that's played at Shepherd in the time I've been here, which is a while. So. You know, that compliment doesn't come easy, but he is uh, he's just really, really good. Plus, once he catches the ball, it's very difficult for one person to bring him down. Um, you know, especially smaller defensive backs that are playing because they have speed or quickness. He's a big kid, and, uh, you know, we've been able to go ahead and get the ball to him, or if they single him, have an opportunity to go ahead and, and hopefully have a, have a tough day for whoever's got that job. But We've got some other good people. Dalton Boyd's been a, a real good receiver for us. Is a is a stretcher, somebody with some speed, made some big big catches for us. And Tony Squire, well, I mean, there there are a number of people that we've been able to go ahead and and plug in there with Billy. But but you're right, he is going to be a key. You've played, you've been involved in a lot of playoff games over your career. Obviously, your kids weren't there last year, but they have been in the, the not too distant past. Is this different? I mean, is the pressure different, especially for the players, once you get into this situation where it's win or go home? Well, you make a good point with that, too. I mean, they understand that. And, you know, you'd like to go ahead and, and keep the string going. This will be the fourth time we've played the IUP in the playoffs. Yeah. And, you know, and the last time we we uh, you know we played them, it was up there. We didn't play particularly well, and and even with a lead in the in the second half, you know, we weren't able to hold them off. So, the, we have a number of kids who have playoff experience, and I think that does help. Uh, you know, they've been there before, and and uh, and in this position before. So I, I think they're going to be ready to go. But we do have a lot of youth. We're a young football team, but you know, even with only you know 13 seniors. And a couple of those are, are not necessarily starters. I think there's some, some good experience here, and I think that's going to help carry the youth into a game as important as this one.